everybody, welcome to the stew. I am going to be making a one minute chocolate frosting tonight and this is one of my favorite recipes in case I don't ever have frosting on hand. So this is the recipe that my mom has handed down to me and we've handed it down from our church cookbook. And as you can see, Claire is joining us. Um, so basically what's going to happen is if you just call for four ingredients. So I'm putting, if, I'm putting the sprinkles on. Yeah, and then we're going to do sprinkles at the end. I think you almost have to do sprinkles when yeah. you have a little one in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is basically last night I made my cake. And it, this is just a easy, simple box recipe cake. I didn't do anything homemade. Somebody ate. Oh, weird. Looks like we had a mouse in the house. No dad probably. Oh, maybe so. <laughs> So anyways, um, so we're going to, the cake has been cooled obviously because it's been sitting overnight and just one person touched it so that wasn't so bad. Um, so anyways, on the one minute frosting, what we are going to do is we just need sugar, margarine, some milk, and some chocolate chips and that's all it calls for. So this is just a chocolate frosting. Um, the best part about this recipe, hopefully everybody is almost done with the health challenge because this is not a healthy frosting. <laughs> Um, so if you're going to try this, just make sure that you're not on the health challenge right now. <laughs> um, the other thing is, is that, Can I do that what we like to do after we have frosted the cake, when we have leftovers, then sometimes we take the leftover frosting and we pour it over top of ice cream and it's so good because it, it's like a fudge on top of the ice cream. So just another idea. So here is my recipe that I will be doing. Let me see if I can flip this camera. Oh, maybe I can't. Can't flip the camera. Can't flip the camera. Don't, don't get it too loud. Okay. So what I'll do is I will stop this segment and then I'll start the next one in just a second. Don't make this too much. I'll get everybody dizzy. Okay. So hold tight. Okay, so here's my church cookbook, and this is the one minute frosting that I will be using. So I need one and a third cup sugar, six tablespoons margarine, six tablespoons milk. Yep, and then as we, if you read through here, then you need to add right here, half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So we do that at the end. We're going to boil up this um, other ingredients here first, so. Here's what we're going to do. All right, so I have my butter, my sugar, my milk, and chocolate chips are over there. So I'm basically just gonna do all of the measurements and pour it into a pot, and then we will start boiling that, and that just needs to boil for a minute. So let me get all the ingredients mixed up, and I will be right back. Okay, so if you see here, I have added six tablespoons of butter, margarine, I have added one and a third cup of sugar, and then you just add in six tablespoons of milk on top of that. So you just let this go ahead and take its time to melt all together. Once it melts together, we just wait for it to start to boil, and then we begin our timing. So I will go ahead and let this continue melting, and then I will start my time and let it boil for one minute. Okay, so our frosting has just started to boil right here. So now I will look at the clock and I'll time it for one minute and I will just let it sit and boil for one minute. Just... And I just stir frequently so I don't have anything that burns. Mommy, yep. I think the mouse ate that. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> She's still worried about the cake. Hmm. No, I'm just wondering who took it. Okay, yeah. I found it. It's kind of like making candy at Christmas time. It's like caramelizing. And whenever you're dealing with boiled sugar, I always like to make sure I'm stirring it so we don't burn to the bottom. Are you 
You're just making a cake for no reason. I'm just making the frosting so that we can show people how to make frosting at home when you don't have to buy the one at the store. Oh, so this is no, this is not for anybody? Nope. Yay, That's so fine. I can have a pee. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, so there's our minute. I feel like this is a mouse eating because it's like it's so a small one. Okay, so I just turned my burner off. And now, actually, I'm going to just leave this here, and I'm going to bring my chocolate chips over. So she's really worried about that corner piece that's gone. I think it's going to be just fine, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so it's still boiling a little bit, which is fine. So now what I do is once the chocolate chips have been added, and that's a half a cup there, then I will start stirring this. And I actually just go and sit down in the living room for a little bit, see what's on TV. And I just keep stirring this until all of those chocolate chips have melted. So I will take this off the burner and then just kind of stir this in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for a little bit. And once it starts to harden a little bit, I'll show you how we can frost the cake. Okay, we are back here, gang, and here is the frosting. I've just let it cool a little bit, and it's starting to thicken a little bit more. Um, I like it to cool just a little bit. It's a little easier to frost then, uh, and then when I put it on the cake, then it's not so steaming hot either. So it's better if it cools down a little bit. It just gets a little bit of a crust on top, and you don't want to wait too long because then once it hardens, you don't want to and try to frost it. And we're going to put some pink um, sprinkles on the cake. Oh, yeah. Well, she's excited about the sprinkles. Okay. So um, I'm going to apologize ahead of time here because Claire's going to help me out with holding the camera so I can pour this frosting on the cake. And then she's going to help me with putting it... The, this. Yeah, nice and smooth on the cake. And then she's going to add her sprinkles. Yeah. So, okay, Claire, can you hold this carefully? Try not to move too much, otherwise people will get dizzy. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here we go. Kind of watch my pan, Claire, so that we can get that. Can you see the frosting? Yep. Maybe reach it up a little bit. Oh, I see it. See it there? Okay, so I'm just starting to just let it pour on here. That looks so satisfying. Is it? <laughs> okay, so... I purposely try to leave some frosting in the pan because, like I said, we like to have a little treat with frosting on top of ice cream at the end of the night if we can. I'm not putting ice cream on the cake. You don't think so? I don't want to. You don't want to this time? I don't like ice okay, cream. Okay, let's see cake. how much frosting this covers here. <laughs> I don't... What if it goes into that hole right there? Oops. I'm trying to prevent that. Can you see me frosting it okay, Claire? On there? Yep. Okay, are you holding it still? Mm-hmm. All right. Hold on with the sprinkles yet. And we're going to put the this sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah, okay, she's was, getting her. I was just showing them. Okay, that's good. And this is the frosting. Okay. How about this part? Is this part satisfying, Claire, to watch? Um, yes. Yeah. See, the frosting is starting to harden already, so I didn't want to wait too much longer with that. Otherwise, I would have had... See there, I just tore it apart a little bit, so... I don't like it. Somebody's just going to really have to enjoy that piece. Who? Okay, so then the frosting is just going to have to harden here a little bit. And before it does, here's what we'll do. Did you get all that? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so not everybody in this household likes to have sprinkles. I like to have sprinkles. So I will take the camera back. My dad doesn't like sprinkles. Yeah, so we're going to have you maybe just sprinkle half of the cake, Claire. Like maybe right in here. I don't know if it's going to get a lot. Now when you sprinkle... Since the hole on the sprinkle is pretty big, you have to go very lightly and just go like that, okay? Okay, can you try that? There you go. I'm trying to do some... Keep it. There you go. That's looking nice. She wanted to get some pastel sprinkles. We yeah. Could make it look real... Oopsie. Like Easter. Ooh. Okay, hold on. So here's what we're Can, I want to do half. I want to do half different. I want to do, do a, a different, different kind? Okay, but you got to do it on the, that side. Yeah. Okay. What, oh, you can do some 
beads. beads. They okay. kind of look like beads. Okay, drip those on there. Okay, They're coming just... out. There you go. <laughs> Getting a couple out. Do that. Okay. Nope. Just pull them there. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's it? Nope. Oh, we got a couple more. Okay. Mm. Oh, my. So, as you can see, it's fun just to have little ones in the kitchen with you doing this part. Oopsies. I got a little frosting on here. Oh, that's okay. We'll wipe that off when we're done. Ah! Ooh, got that. that. More. So, it looks like it just might be one piece of the cake that'll have some beads on it with some glitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually different. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have another one. Oh, you're gonna do a little bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's kind of creative. Yeah, it is. So here is the <sighs> frosting that's left over. So if you see how it does harden a little bit like that. Okay, and then all I do is I put it in a bowl in the microwave so it softens up again. And then when you have your bowl of ice cream, you can just pour that on <clears> top. And it is super, super good. But like I said, you can do this one minute frosting. It takes no time at all. And it should be all ingredients that you have at your place. I want it to be colorful. Wow, you're really decorating that one spot really nice. I like it. Yeah, I do too. And some green. Yep. See this green right here? Yeah, she's got some nice... I see you got a couple tattoos on your hands there, Claire. Yeah. You're supporting the sting. 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 Nice job. I like sting. Colors. I know you do. Sting. We drove to town today and she did say, Mom, I miss school. I'm like, I know. I think we all do. <laughs> so there we go. I won't waste too much more of your time, but just wanted to show you how simple this one minute frosting is. And you can go ahead and do this at any time. If anybody tries any of these recipes, please let me know how it goes. If you got any ways that you are changing it. Okay, honey, I think that's enough there, okay? That's just one. Okay. No, no more pink stuff now, okay? All right. No more so at least I got one half of the cake. They'll probably mm -hmm. still be edible. <laughs> All right, so Claire, can you end here and tell everybody that's the stew? This is mini stew with big stew. <laughs> Oh. Hopefully, this um all distance thingy uh goes away uh quickly at the end of this year. Yes, I agree. Okay, bye. <laughs> have a good day. I miss you all. Mwah. Oh, she's such a natural. There you have it, everybody, and that's the stew. Stewies.